In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to peel titles off the screen as though they were on a transparent background by using transitions. Often we think of transitions as something exclusive to video clips or perhaps a still image. But in this case, we're going to show you some ways in which you can use transitions to use this peel effect for titles. I have three titles on our screen here. The first one simply is Rainy Days. And then we move to a second one, which is the two words Hot Nights. And then that gives way to our third transition, which is simply Fun Times. What I'd like to do is I've put all three of these on track two so I can put something behind them on track one. That's to illustrate how this transition works and why some of the transitions don't always do what you want. I'm going to click on the media content at the top on the down arrow and then choose background images. I'm going to take the raindrops, drag them down to track number one, and I'll extend this for the first two segments of my titles. Then I'll take the halos, drag that down, and it will snap, and then I will lengthen it or expand it to match the duration of my third title. Let me show you a couple of things about using transitions with titles. We're going to click on our transitions room, and I have all of them selected. When you use a transition, you can use it at the beginning of a title, the end of a title, or between two titles. Let's show you one at the beginning just for fun. I'm going to slide down in my alphabetical list here until I get to the one called Spin Horizontal. I'll take this and drag this down to the beginning of my first title. Again, if you want to change the duration of the transition, all you do is click on it. Then I'll click on the clock above the timeline. Right now it's set to three seconds. I'm going to change that to four and press Enter. And when I begin my series of titles and I play my movie, I will see that that transition will affect only the title. It spins in at 90 degrees. It's a very nice effect, and the longer it's on there, the slower the rotation. But what we're focusing on in this particular tutorial is the end and the peel effect. To do that, I'm going to move up and select Page Curl, drag and put it at the end of the first clip. I didn't overlap. I'll show you what the overlap is like in a moment. So when I'm in the middle of my first title, I'll play it and it peels off the screen and then Hot Nights pops on. I'm going to take that and delete that now let's show you the difference between that and if I put it between the clips. The difference will be a little bit dramatic. If I click here, it peels off and you see Hot Nights immediately underneath it. That's a nice effect. In this case, the background has not changed. The only thing that I've changed is the transition from one title to another. And so let me play it again so you can see it. It peels off and the second one begins. Now what I like to do sometimes is just put it at the end of a clip when you have a different background. Watch what happens in this case where I have two different backgrounds and I put it between the clips. There, there's a, a bit of an abrupt transition here between one and the other. And what I prefer to do in this case is remove it from between and confine it only to the first clip. If I play this again, I think it creates a little bit of a better option. It peels off, and then we have a new background and a new title. You can use whatever feature you like. What I'd like to remind you is you can use many of the transitions in this effect for titles, but not all of them. For example, if I take the mosaic here and do that as the intro on my last title, let's see what happens. Th 
the mosaic not only impacts the title, it impacts the tracks above. And if all I want to do is change the way the title text looks, there are some of these transitions I cannot use, at least not in this way. But we'll show you more about that in another lesson.